Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing a mod for Kingdom Come Deliverance called the Emperor's Own, which sets the game in the 19th century Russian Empire. So I'm very interested to see what this game is like. Ow! Let's pop in. Oh, my name is Cornet. Good thing he isn't Irish. He could have been like Cornet O'Reilly. <laughs> That was a bad joke, sorry. And no less than five sightings of the devil himself. Really? You've seen the devil himself five times? What am I getting myself into here? Investigate the precise source of these rumors. Oh wait, the rumors. Okay, god damn it. I wanted to go fight the devil. I don't know why, because when I played Kingdom Come Deliverance, I couldn't beat, like, the village idiot. Maybe that makes me the village idiot. Oh, now I'm just sad. Oh, and take some fireproof armor for all the dragons you'll be slaying. This guy's making fun of me and I don't like him. There are dragons? I'm just taking him seriously. I just refuse to pick up on the sarcasm. Peddling junk is a disgrace to the uniform. Why are they all making fun of me? What if it's magic? <laughs> God damn it. Gonna seem like a village idiot already. Your magic sword is in your trousers. E excuse me? What does... Was that a... A weird compliment or what? They look so real. Oh, finally, we found someone stupider than me. I'm not the village idiot yet. No, please don't kill him, please. He's the only one keeping me from being the stupidest person here. Oh, no, we're going to fight. Why are we fighting the peasants? I thought we were here to stop them gossiping. I mean, I guess this works to stop them gossiping. Better go cut down a tree mid-fight. How are you guys doing over there? Because I'm nearly losing to this man with a stick. Jesus, you really did a number on this one. Did you bury his... The head in the sand? <laughs> Is he just ignoring the problem? <laughs> the ostrich technique. I do that with some of my responsibilities too. All right, here's the village. We just killed your friends up the lane and you're next. I mean, let's try and talk this out first, I guess, rather than escalating to violence immediately. God bless you, my lords. Oh, you see, these people are, are nice, actually. I'm not even going to slaughter this village. They're complimenting me. Possessed by infernal spirits are... Oh, Jesus Christ, she just kind of appeared there. Was she standing there the whole time? Okay, we gotta investigate the village cemetery. Apparently people are being uh, dug up and they're convinced it's the work of the devil. I don't think this village knows what burying is. They just covered something with dirt instead of actually putting it, you know, underground. All you'd need to do is take me to a princess and have her give me- I love that it's all set in Russia and their name's like Dmitri and stuff and they just sound like that. You ready for my Russian impression? All right, governor, how are you, my comrade? Oh my god, this is such a long walk. The village is all the way down there. I've been walking for so long, I'm starting to get tired in real life now. But I'm finally here. There's a lot of people camping out by the witch's house. The lady! They've come for the lady! What? 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 Hold on, we're just here to talk! How many villagers are gonna attack me? How do you use your gun? I want to do that. I want to do what you just did. Ah, get away, come on. I'm just letting my, my friends fight for me. Kick! Oh, there you go. How are you guys not done fighting them yet? Please come help me. Ah, Jesus. Come on, shoot them again. You're looking the wrong way. Oh, I figured out how to use my gun. It's middle mouse. I got him, I think. I think I must have curved the bullet because the gun was definitely beyond him. To what do I owe the pleasure, gentlemen? See, she's calm out. She doesn't care. All those men just died. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I came all this way and I kind of forgot to listen to what she was saying. But something about someone died in the village four days ago. That's what that mound of earth was, I suppose. What is surprising is the dedication of the men protecting her. Yeah, that's the thing. She did seem nice and friendly, and yeah, the, the witch thing is probably unlikely. <laughs> but still, like, ten people just died for her for no reason, and she didn't seem bothered by it. Oh, there he is, the man we've been looking for. <laughs> the other leg is severely dislocated. <laughs> severely dislocated? Oh my god, I have to... <laughs> I have to pick how he was, to, how he was fucking killed. Okay, I think he wrote a note and committed suicide. He wrote it, then killed himself. Of course, yes, by ripping off all his limbs. Okay, so we think that... Oh my god, they buried him fast. <laughs> Good lord. But yeah, we think that he was tied to horses and they ripped him limb from limb. Oh well, I say we, they. I still think it was a suicide. If I were to recreate it, I would think he had enough. He grabbed his arm and just ripped it off and was like, well, may as well keep going now. And then start ripping his legs off and got the last arm with his teeth. 
<laughs> I'll go back and tell the king that. I'm sure he'll believe me. We need to find that wise man. A wise man? I don't think there are any wise men in this village. If they've just resorted to blaming that woman on the hill and wolf men for all their problems, I don't think they're very wise. Oh, wrong way. Hold, hold on. Sorry. Oh, oh, God. Oh, why did I become the leader? Oh, I've embarrassed us in front of the villagers. Okay, this village doesn't seem as friendly as the last one, and everyone in the last one wanted to attack me. So I don't have high hopes for this place. Even looking at his mustache, I can tell he wants to attack me. Good lord have mercy. I'm not a feckin' spirit. I'm just wearing a green jacket. Don't, don't do it. It hurts a little bit. Stop. Kill him. Oh, 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 come on. Where's that guy? Where? Who said that one? The one with the funky hair. Shoot him. I missed. God damn it. Probably shot my teammate. Spank with sword. Spank with sword. I don't think that's what it's called. What? On guard. Ow. Ow. Oh, God. Run away. I'm just fleeing, but very slowly. Oh, come on. I can't go through here. Oh, God. Is that my teammate? Finally, he's arrived. Come on. Shoot him, too. Shoot him. I saved him for you. I thought you might want to kill the last one, you know, to uh, get most of the glory. I didn't want to be a glory hog or anything. God, I was so close to death. You know, we're not really going to help the myth that there's like demons and beasts going around here. We just slaughtered a whole village. I think we're adding fuel to the fire. But you know what? Let's explore their little homes and see what they have here. There's got to be like a cursed idol or something. Just a shrine to Jim Pickens himself. These windows are just painted on. <laughs> Do you think this is a fake village? Maybe I am being tricked by the devil. All right, where to, man? Look at that lens flare. I feel like I'm in a 2012 Call of Duty montage. Okay, we found someone just hanging out at their homestead. Look at him just sitting on the bench. Luckily, he's no weapon with him because I'm just waiting for him to come attack me. Fuck off. Oh, he's attacking me with words. He doesn't care about me. Kill him. Oh, where did you come from? <laughs> Why are there people everywhere that want to kill me? Hey, wait a second. You're the guy from earlier with the funky haircut. Oh, come on, ghost. Join in. <laughs> the goat does not care. The goat is just continuing to eat grass. Well, I'm going to show you who the real goat is. <laughs> I just started eating the grass myself. I never understood what that really meant. Is there anything you want to tell us? No. <laughs> After all that? We're looking for a wise man. This guy seems pretty wise, actually. I think it might be him. You boys didn't figure it out yet. You're about to have a full-blown rebellion on your hands. Ah, uh, that makes sense why everyone was just attacking us out of nowhere. <laughs> You'd think we would have known this. Good, then get the fuck out of my yard. <laughs> This guy's great. He just verbally assaulted me instead of assaulting me like everyone else. <laughs> in the background. <laughs> how am I even supposed to identify a person as a wise man? Like, if I'm not wise, how can I test his wisdom? Okay, this person's definitely not wise. They were smacking that log with an axe and making no progress whatsoever. But what cause is more important than your own wife and mother? Wife and mother? What kind of incestuous village do you have here? You'll answer our questions or you'll hang. Oh my god, this poor woman. <laughs> you kill a defenseless woman. Yeah, yeah, I would. Calm down. <laughs> the other character's like, dude, it's cool, it's Jesus. So they lied to our faces. Wait, the villagers lied to us? We should hang them. <laughs> it's like four hours back the road. My friends are going to start to question my judgment. Like, we got to go back to the village, apparently, to, to talk to the witch. And I just have a bad feeling that the village is going to turn against us. I hope no one overheard me saying that I wanted to hang them all. Oh, no. What do you want now? You're going to attack me, aren't you? Werewolf! I don't believe him for a second. It's a trap. I'm going to say his story's too absurd to be a lie. I want to check out these werewolves. This is the lumber camp? Oh, God. Why did it have to be nighttime? They were giving them trouble in the day. Imagine what a werewolf can do at night when the whole moon thing is out. That's their whole shtick. They love that. What do werewolves hate again? Fire and riddles or something. I, fire and silver. Is it silver? Yeah, they hate silver. Uh, I found a hand, everyone. <laughs> Shouldn't we have our weapons at the ready? What is that? Is it some like cult and they're just dressing up as wolves? Because that's pretty cool if so. Okay, guys, please, please. I can't get out the door because my friends won't move. Come on. Come on, please. I need to get out. This guy's trying to come back in. He's blocking this guy. Okay, there we go. There. No. Okay, there. Got through. A coincidence. Fuck off. Okay, Nick does not like coincidences. Oh, I get to say what happened again. I'm committing to this something supernatural. Oh god, I should have said wait till morning. All right, no, we're, we're following them. God damn it. Oh, for feck's sake. They just entered a horror movie all of a sudden. 
Jesus Christ, who did that? <laughs> the NPC even started running. I feel like an NPC here because I'm going at a speed that is like too slow for their run, but too fast for their walk and they constantly have to run and stop. But I don't think they can actually run. I think it's trying to build suspense, but the NPCs have no interest in that. Oh, sweet but Jesus! That was so feckin' lame. Like, replay that without audio. <laughs> Don't look to your left. He said, don't look to your left. Why would you look at that? Someone is digging them up, not burying them. Wait, so they've been stealing from the cemetery? Why? That's just great. Oh my God. This is just some lunatic woman running all over the place, isn't it? She might've stubbed her toe or something, perhaps. That's the noise I make when I stub my toe. You know, when past Kevin decided, let's go at night instead of selecting the option, which would have waited till morning. Yeah, feck past Kevin. Oh great, some sort of steeple up ahead. Fantastic, just what I wanted. A creepy haunted church. <laughs> Who is that? I I can't see. Oh my god, it's the Wolfmen. They're real. They're real. What do you mean? These do not look anything like werewolves. They don't even look like good cosplays. There we go. I delayed them long enough for the NPCs to kill them. Good strategy. Wolves. Werewolves. They don't look like werewolves. They're on some weird drug, aren't they? They're out here just having a good time, <laughs> taking some illegal, questionable substances, dressing up as wolves, and we're ruining it. Oh, for feck's sake! I didn't think I was getting into a horror movie. There's that feckin' banshee as well. Oh, you're just gonna stay there now? I can just have a chat with you? Well, at least you're not wailing in the woods anymore. I explain yourself first. Alright, we're just gonna leave her walk away, okay. Is your toe alright, at least? Did you step in a box of Lego? Welcome home. Oh, no. This isn't good. I'm already in a cult. I don't want to be in this one. Colonel Demido. A colonel? Are you a cult leader now? That is sick. Nice work in the promotion. How did you die? What? <laughs> Are we dead? Oh, he's actually checking like, a am I dead? <laughs> oh no, okay, he is a lunatic. Okay, I thought I was the crazy one for a second. We're here to investigate tales of ghosts and wolfmen terrorizing the locals. He's like, uh, no, it must have been someone else. I have something that will help. Oh no, I don't think you're gonna help me at all, actually. <laughs> They actually are taking mushrooms. <laughs> that little duck face for the spit. <laughs> the way he's ringing that bell is terrifying in itself. Oh, great. I'm in a boss fight all of a sudden. Can I just run around till I can shoot again? Wait, this isn't too bad, actually. Okay, yeah, this, this is fine. When it's just one, I'm just spamming attack and it's working just fine. Do I get to be the cult leader after this now? Because I'd rather just fill his place rather than fight the rest of the cult here. Oh, no. <laughs> She's gone down. Down here. He has foretold this moment. Oh, for feck's sake. Who? Who foretold it? Can you foretell me what is going on? I I'm in Jim Pickens' basement. This is it. This is actually the cult's basement. All right, that's it. No more Mr. Scaredy Cat. I'm running all over the place and there's nothing you can do to stop me. I will find you. Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. I am not scared at all. <laughs> Happy face. Find the woman in white. I don't know where it's just gone unless she wants to shriek again. Marco. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What is this? You love your feckin' basements, don't you? Maybe you and I aren't so different after all. <laughs> I'm sure we can find some common ground. We have way more in common than you would think. <gasps> Jesus, what is that? Someone's alive down here? Wait, the ghost? Serpent. The serpent. Oh no. The chamber of secrets has been opened. This is creepy as I don't know what, honestly. Can we, can we get out of here? I really want to leave now. Love the decor, but just, just want to leave. Well, let the moral of the story be never do drugs, everyone. <laughs> mushrooms bad. <laughs> like, that guy was a colonel. He worked for the king himself. He has one mushroom, then he thinks he's dead and he's leading a cult and some abandoned church on the edge of town. Oh, what is going on now? Wait, did you kill the witch? Is that the witch? Are these the two that buries this? Yeah, they are the people with the shovel earlier who buried the guy. We are men, and we must keep our families from this devilry. Yeah, you're brave men. You tied a woman to a tree and burned her alive. She was selling mind-altering mushrooms. Oh, wait, so she was a drug dealer? All right, you know what? <laughs> That's grand. Might be better off, because <laughs> uh, it's a gateway to some nasty stuff if I've learned anything tonight. What should we do with these people? We should execute them. They're the last survivors of all of this. We should just finish it with everyone dead. We have young'uns. Oh, no, I'm going to kill them next, then. <laughs> I'll kill you and then execute order 66. He's trying to, to get them to survive. No, ignorance doesn't justify murder. Wait, they're, 
They're just dead? Oh, I didn't actually have to kill them. The developers were probably like, oh, no one would want to actually slaughter these two idiots who just did what they think was right. And I'm like, yay, I get to fight defenseless people for a change. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Half your village is dead. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, we're angry at you too. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, you knew more than you told us. Just because he's the last witness in the village, it's probably good to just kill him too so that nothing bad can be said about what we did here. Because there's a lot of bad things we did. That's a human being. <laughs> Stop trying to reason with me. No. Oh my god, his little face. Let him go. Wait, who are you all of a sudden? I thought I killed all the villagers. <laughs> oh my god, this is dark. <laughs> we'll kill the rest of the villagers next. I'm going with Operation Scorched Earth. We did our duty. <laughs> They're all just screaming abuse at me. <laughs> As we ride off over the sunset. And that's about it. Okay, he told them the story. I hope that you didn't go into detail about what we did and just said the good parts. The peasantry's already on edge because of the recent increases in taxes and military service terms. Uh, I think I may not have helped that either with the whole I'm going to execute your entire village thing. These are my options. Visit my friend Diana, go drink and play cards with the two friends I just made, or go to church. I think now would be a good time to start my repentance, but I'm going to go drink and play cards instead. Oh, that was good. I liked that. A solid, solid mod. That felt just like a full game. But I hope you enjoyed my war crimes. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye for now.